All right, we're gonna have a look at these MSR water filters. Uh, we've been using them for a long time with the Scout Troop, and I'm just gonna show you how to use them and how to take care of them. So they come in a bag. There's another one here in the bag. You kind of wrap them up like that. And basically, it's got a cap on the bottom. This is to keep, this is where the clean water comes out. This is where the clean water comes out and you want to keep that um, protected so it has a cap that screws on. But the filter itself screws onto these uh, Nalgene bottles. So you can see that So it screws on there basically, you drop this into your water source, it's got a float on it so that it doesn't sink to the bottom and, and suck up mud from the bottom, and you basically just pump your water clean. Now what you're going to find out is that after doing 5 or 10 uh, bottles of water, it's going to get so it's not pumping very well. And what you have to do in that situation is you got to learn a little bit about taking care of it. So you can see it comes apart like this. The filter comes right out of there. Right now it's a relatively light color because it's freshly clean. So what happens when, um, when it stops actually filtering well is you've got to take... It comes with a scrubby. You wet the scrubby and you just go around the whole thing and scrub it. Give it a light scrub with water and you'll see it goes from, it will go from a dark color to a lighter color like this um, and once you do that then it will start filtering again um, some other important things you got to do when you're looking after these guys so you've got to keep this piston in here clean um, so let's see if we can zoom in here there's two pins here you zoomed in. There's two pins here in this piston. You just kind of pinch. You can see this better once I take it out. I'll show you. Take that pin out. And then you can kind of see the two it pinches like that to, uh, to come apart. So you take one pin out. It's a two-part pin, and it normally just pops right out. I don't know why that's not just popping right out. Yeah. So it's a two-part pin. Then there's another one right here. Push it there. So it all comes apart. You, most of these parts you can throw in the dishwasher. This o ring here can, the, on the piston, can get really gummed up. It can get nasty. I've seen these really, really nasty. And what you got to do is you have to gently encourage that o ring to come off. A sharp knife is, knife is not a great idea. This knife happens to be really dull right now. So it's not going to cut the o-ring. A butter knife works well. It can be tough to get that off of there. There. And then you can put all this in the dishwasher, keep it nice and clean. Um, when you're done camping with it, you basically want to take it all apart like this, especially this, let it dry out. So what happened with this one was, it's one of the Scout ones, yeah. So this is one of the this is one of the scout ones, and someone had left it without drying it out, and I took it apart. It smelled really musty. So what I did was I took um, two liters of water, I put a teaspoon of bleach in it, and I pumped the bleach through it a couple of times, and then I let it soak in the bleach water for uh, just about 30 minutes, and then I rinsed it all out again with fresh water and it doesn't smell musty at all now um, and it's, it's pretty much all cleaned up here 
So that's how you do it. I just want to point out here um, that there's two different kinds as I've discovered. I think this one is a newer model and it's a little bit different when you take it apart. So this guy has two O-rings, one on top and one on the bottom of the filter. So that goes down in here and then the other O-ring goes on top and then it screws in place. This guy, for whatever reason, does not have a top O-ring. It has a bottom O-ring, a little bit different filter. Again, that one used to be really musty, it's not anymore, so it's in good shape again. And another difference in these guys is the piston itself. If we get this out of there. This one, when you're putting it back together, the piston has these, um, can you zoom in on that? The piston has, has these other bits on it. This one is just a flat piston. So when this goes back together, it only goes together a certain way because these fit into grooves inside the housing here. Um, so that's the difference in the two models. They changed it at some point in time. Uh, another thing they changed, I'll show you that. Oh, darn it. No, don't, don't focus down here. So another thing they changed was in here there's a two-way valve so you screw this off or a one-way valve I mean so this is what prevents backflow when you're pumping and this model has this little triangular thing I don't even know what to call it, it was in there and the other guy So this guy has like a little ball in there. There's that plastic piece and then there's a little ball. So they're, they changed the design at some point in time. We bought these, the Scout Troop bought them at the same time about six years ago. So that must have been when they were switching over the design. And I'm pretty sure this one with the ball is the old design and the other one is the new design because I bought one myself that's like the new one. And that's basically all there is to it. You take these guys apart, you keep everything nice and clean, and they will serve you well. We've been using them for, for our scout troop for a good six years now. We've never had anyone get sick, knock on wood. Um, they work extremely well. Oh, one thing I forgot to demonstrate. So, when you clean these and you're scrubbing it, you know, you scrub the surface of the filter to clean it, it actually takes a, a, a microscopic amount off the filter so the filter gets thinner and thinner. On the end cap here, there's this little tool and it's a gauge to let you know if your filter has to be replaced. Basically, as soon as that goes around the filter, which it's not even close to going around it now, as you can see, as soon as that slips around the filter, you know it's too thin and it's time to replace it.